Chapter 53 Adelmo's mind was racing with curiosity as he pondered over his next question. With a mischievous glint in his eyes, he finally blurted out, Hey, have you guys managed to convert anyone recently? Maybe a waitress? The lady's expression instantly transformed into one of shock and surprise, as if she had been caught off guard. She quickly composed herself and replied, No, not yet. However, we are in the process of initiating a waitress who will be joining us in the next few days. Her words hung in the air, leaving a sense of anticipation for what was to come. Adelmo's curiosity was piqued even further by the lady's response. He wanted to make it clear that he had no intention of coercing anyone into joining their cause. With a sincere tone, he added, Just to clarify, she willingly chose to be a part of our group, right? I believe in free will and would never force someone to join us against their wishes. Adelmo's words carried a sense of integrity and respect for individual choices, emphasizing the importance of consent and personal agency. The conversation took an intriguing turn as Adelmo shared his own experiences. He revealed, you know, I've been having these vivid visions lately. They started with glimpses of the past, but then one morning I had a vision that felt so real as if it had just happened. It made me wonder if it was a glimpse into the future. That's why I had to ask about the waitress. I needed to know if my visions were somehow connected to reality. Adelmo's words conveyed a sense of wonder and curiosity as he sought to unravel the mysteries of his own mind and the world around him. The woman's voice was filled with awe as she exclaimed, Oh, what an extraordinary gift you possess throughout generations. Only one of your ancestors possessed the remarkable ability to peer into the past. She paused for a moment, her eyes gleaming with curiosity. To my knowledge, no one else has ever possessed the power to glimpse into the future. It is truly a rare and precious gift. Cherish it, my dear, and use it to your advantage. Adelmo's gratitude was evident in his voice as he replied, I am immensely grateful for your clarification. Your words have shed light on a part of my heritage that I was unaware of. Thank you for sharing this knowledge with me. He couldn't help but feel a sense of wonder and excitement at the realization of his unique ability. As Adelmo glanced at his watch, a sense of urgency washed over him. He knew it was time to bid farewell to the mysterious lady and return to his grandfather's house. With a hint of regret in his voice, he expressed his need to leave. I must make my way back to my grandfather's house now, but I want to express my deepest gratitude for all the assistance you have provided. Your guidance has been invaluable. The lady's response was warm and sincere. You're most welcome, dear. I wish you a safe journey and may your flight be filled with serenity. Adelmo's voice carried a genuine appreciation as he replied, Thank you, I truly appreciate your kind wishes. As he made his way back to his grandfather's house, a sense of anticipation filled Adelmo's heart. The familiar path seemed to stretch out before him, leading him closer to the place that held so many cherished memories. With each step, he could almost hear the echoes of laughter and feel the warmth of his grandfather's love. Finally, he arrived at his destination, the old wooden door creaking open to welcome him home. Stepping inside, Adelmo's eyes scanned the living room, searching for the comforting sight of his grandfather. And there he was, sitting in his favorite armchair, a gentle smile playing on his lips. Adelmo approached his grandfather, his voice filled with a mix of urgency and longing. Grandfather, he began, I know our time together is running short, but there's something I need to discuss with you. The request hung in the air, and his grandfather's eyes met his with understanding. Without hesitation, he agreed to accompany Adelmo to the airport, recognizing the importance of their conversation. In a flurry of excitement, Adelmo hurried up the stairs, his bag in hand, eager to embark on this journey with his beloved grandfather by his side. As they made their way to the airport, Adelmo and his grandfather engaged in a lively conversation. Adelmo couldn't help but share the intriguing details he had learned from his grandfather's vampire neighbors. The information was so fascinating that Adelmo couldn't help but wonder if his own grandfather was aware of it. To his surprise, his grandfather was indeed aware of the information. 
Adelmo couldn't help but feel a bit perplexed. Why hadn't his grandfather mentioned any of this before? It dawned on him that perhaps he hadn't asked the right questions in the past. In addition to the new information, Adelmo's grandfather also shared some unsettling incidents that had occurred while they were exploring Dracula's castle. He recounted how on two separate nights, he had been mysteriously dragged into another room. Despite the alarming nature of these incidents, Adelmo's grandfather didn't seem too shocked. He reassured Adelmo that the vampire neighbors were good-hearted individuals who would always look out for them if given the chance. This revelation brought a sense of comfort to Adelmo, knowing that they had allies in their quest to uncover the secrets of Dracula's castle. As they continued their journey to the airport, Adelmo couldn't help but reflect on the newfound information and the bond he shared with his grandfather. It was clear that there was much more to their family history than he had ever imagined. Adelmo realized that sometimes, it's not about what is said, but rather what is left unsaid. His grandfather had likely kept this information to himself, not wanting to burden Adelmo with unnecessary worries. Adelmo felt a deep sense of gratitude towards his grandfather for always looking out for him and for sharing these incredible stories that would forever shape their family's legacy.